hello everyone so in today's video i want to share with you guys our decision so you'll know at the end of this video if we're really leaving or if we're staying in the Nang vietnam so if you watch the last video first of all thank you so much everybody who's commenting giving us so much advice i feel like you guys are such great friends to kind of help out and really give us good information actually so thank you thank you so so much and if you guys don't know exactly why i would be leaving vietnam um let me give you guys a little bit of a backtrack on how we got here so first of all we came to da Nang, vietnam in 2019 march 2019 specifically and as americans we are allowed to get a one-year tourist visa so that a visa was valid from march 2019 to march 2020 so we went to the u.s for the holidays came back to vietnam and we applied for another tourist visa for 2020 so that one was valid on march 2020 however as you guys know that's when the pandemic hit so we could not actually use that visa so the only other option that was available at the time was the visa extension. At that time, the government in Vietnam was offering every tourist that was here a 30-day extension. So you were allowed to stay for another 30 days if you could. Now, meanwhile, mind you, we still had our 2020 tourist visa for the one year option was still available it was just never stamped so by march we tried to have our visa that visa stamp saying that hey we actually have a valid tourist one for a year maybe you can stamp that one so that one at the time was not accepted because they were not allowing anybody to come into vietnam so we spoke to our visa lady lynn visa which is awesome and she told us that we can still get the visa extensions every month so that's the option that we continue to do for all of 2020. fast forward to now we are in june 2021 and the laws are changing a little bit which i can completely understand as i told you guys it before in a couple of videos you know they had the complete right to you know stop tourists from staying here especially during the pandemic so i understand that so you guys have seen from the couple of videos ago that I talked about the options that we had, which was number one, for us to get another tourist extension, they were probably going to have it. However, the issue with that, which I said, was that if your current visa extension had the XT at the end, it stated that you were only allowed in the country for another 30 days, but you had to leave after because the XT stands for exit. Okay guys, so I just arrived at Lynn Visa. I'm just about to pick up our passports and see if we have the XT on it. I told you guys if we have the XT, that means that you know we only have one month extension and it's an exit visa, so 30 days to exit the country. So let's go find out. Um, you still have to leave by that time, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because of that, we figured we only have two true options available, to stay or to leave. And the only way to stay was for us to get a business visa. Now you guys have heard about the visa crackdown here, which was specifically on business or even work visas. And that was because companies can sponsor people from all over the world to come and work in Vietnam if they had a special skill or something that they needed that they couldn't find in the country specifically. That also played into a big scheme where people were starting companies specifically for that, getting people into Vietnam, but they were not doing the jobs and they were not, um, they were not actually working there. So that is where the scam came in. And when the government became aware of that, that's when they shut that down. So no more business visas or even work permits were being issued at that time, which caused this whole fiasco that you guys were hearing about, especially during this lockdown after people were illegally coming into Vietnam. Now I have some friends that have started businesses in Vietnam and I was asking them a couple questions because we want to be aware, we want to have all the information that we need in order to make the best decision for us. So we looked at the option of starting a business here. And even in my last video, I was asking you guys, you know, hey, what idea would you guys have? Like I thought about having a creative agency. For me, it would be something related to like social media so that maybe we can hire a social media manager. Maybe maybe we could hire somebody who could do uh, YouTube editing videos for us. Many things like that that we talked about that would be a great option because it's in line with what we do. You guys have even um, suggested that we start something uh, like a course with teaching. So many great options also from you guys. Thank you so much, by the way. We went and asked a couple of questions about that. The only reason why we were a little bit reserved on it was the fact that the laws were still changing till this day. Like even with asking lawyers and and even speaking to visa agents it seems like things are changing day by day and I can give you an example whereas what everything was doing with the crackdown with the visa business and work visas was happening they shut down the opportunity for anyone to come to Vietnam anymore like at that point it was like no one can come into the country 
literally two days later there's a new law that overrides that law <laughs> that says that okay you can have some people come in so things are changing day to day so we feel like it's kind of risky to put that option out there to start a business at this moment when you have no guarantees that you can actually make it work like maybe a new law can come in and boom like that is done that is the reason why we decided to come with the final option we are leaving vietnam <laughs> and actually saying that kind of hits me a little bit sometimes because i have some amazing amazing friends here i have made like lifelong friends i'd had the most amazing neighbor um like so many people that I've met here. Also, the restaurants I like to eat, the adventures that I've done. I can tell you guys that it was not an easy decision for us at first because as you guys saw from a previous video, we were fighting to stay here and find anything that we can do to, you know, really live here. Because if you guys have seen our lifestyle from the past videos, we really enjoy living here. We feel like we have had the opportunity to live free, to be able to do what we want and not work as much. Um, literally create that life worth living that Ralph has been always talking about because we were able to really do most of the things that we always wanted to do that you feel like you were waiting for retirement to do. So um, I've been really grateful to do that. And I literally am grateful for everything that happened. Um, in 2020 the good and the bad because everything in life is a lesson and I'm also going to miss the fact that I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to do in Vietnam so for example Ralph and I have always wanted to go to Ha Long Bay I've never been to Hanoi which is the capital of Vietnam and they have this beautiful um, area with a bunch of I'll show if, I'll see if I can show you guys some videos they have a beautiful area called Ha Long Bay where they have beautiful mountains and the water there you can just like have a little cruise ship um kind of like the idea if you guys may have a philippines it's literally right here in, in um, vietnam another one that i've wanted to do is mune and mune there's like sand dunes there like how amazing is that i feel like vietnam is so diverse there's so much to see from mountains uh rivers oceans like there's a uh, deserts and even in saigon which <laughs> now i kind of feel bad that I didn't get to do it but again everything is an experience I'm not regretting anything that I did and um, but in Saigon if you guys saw my Saigon video I talked about how I wanted to go to Snowtown which is where they actually have it's not indoor ski but they have snow inside so there's snow and you can go and like do a little sled inside which was one of my dreams but ultimately like what happens is that when you start creating a life, when you have friends in, in another country, those friends become family to you. And having to say goodbye to that, it's, it's really heartbreaking. And um, I feel like this was a beautiful experience. I am so grateful for it, so, so grateful. Like, I got to live the way that I have seen on TV, and the way I've seen people on YouTube live. I've got to experience that, and I was able to also share that with you guys. So it's uh, bittersweet but it's also um, showing me that there is a new opportunity waiting for me i feel like life is always teaching you something and always doing things for you to propel you forward and i'm excited for the next chapter in our life so stay tuned guys in the next video i will let you know what country we're going to the whole process of moving abroad so if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video goodbye Oh, 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 oh,